Oh, 11 frames per second. I'm loving it. Woo! Teleo champs, and now we're going to see the maximum performance of this XPS 15 in terms of gaming. We're going to hook it up to an external monitor, and by the way, this thing here is amazing. This external monitor, I'll talk about it in a sec. Now, you may know or not know that if you go to an external monitor and you bypass the integrated graphics, you get better performance on the laptop. We're also going to test it with DLSS on and off as well. So, we're going to see the performance with DLS on and off on the display and then on an external monitor. And what's interesting here, it doesn't have HDMI, so we're going to be going out via the Thunderbolt or maybe the display port USB C on the side. We'll see if there is a difference there between the two. But let's crack on we're going to see how this performs the best it can perform for gaming let's do it this is the rog strix xg16 wolf and don't get confused by the name xg16 that makes me think it's a 16 inch display it's actually a 15.6 inch so maybe it's rounded off but yeah it is 15.6 it's not 16 but anyway this thing here is a portable gaming monitor 144 hertz ips panel and three hours of battery life. Yes, you do not have to be plugged in to use this display. You can actually game fully portable on your laptop on battery with this on battery on your laptop as well. So this is amazing. You can see the stand up here. We'll unbox this thing and have a look. And this truly is the latest and greatest in portable gaming monitors. And it doesn't make sense for like some of the gaming laptops that have awesome displays, but for the XPS 15 or laptops with 60 Hertz display, this is a godsend. So I guess you can guess what's in here. Here is the stand, of course. You know, stand this thing up. We'll look at it later. So we'll open her up and, oh, what do we get there? This is cool. Lifts up the product there. We get this awesome gray sleeve, yellow accents, Republic of Gamer. For those who dare, for those who dare, for those who dare. Wolf. I mean, that's a nice bag. I love the gray. Here is the display itself. Nice. 144 hertz IPS. And believe it or not, it actually has a kickstand as well. So this can stand up by itself, USB type C, so we can go display port out. So I might go display port out into this, directly into this without HDMI. On the left hand side, mini HDMI has display port and power. We also have speakers on the front. So you get a calibration report, I like that. Some decals there. So this is USB type A to USB type C. Mini HDMI to full HDMI. And of course, USB C. So you can put, you know, USB C directly into this or Thunderbolt maybe we'll see I've got to say I am loving this because it's not black you know I like my white stuff you know I love it I gotta say wow that looks futuristic bit of sci-fi there just looks amazing there and a kickstand right so okay. look at that that friggin looks amazing oh it looks like a piece of art I love it Oh, this is just cool. This is cool. On the top, I guess their power button, volume button, then your on-screen display, I guess that's what that is. So this is gonna be awesome to have like that, and you can have it like that. You don't need the stand. So you have the stand here. Of course, you can sit it on the stand and have it like a normal monitor. So you'd screw that in there, and then you just have it like that. Like a portable game <laughs> this is amazing this is awesome this thing is amazing i love it oh look at that a bit devastated i'll put some fingerprints on it so let's hook it up to the xps 15 and see what extra performance we get out of this going to an external monitor all right for all those people asking me why aren't you testing at the native resolution of 3k or whatever it is oh look at that 11 frames nine frames per second let's benchmark this thing yeah, this is why, this is without DLS, so look, it looks like eight frames per second. This is ultra settings, no ray tracing, I've got to say that, so nine frames per second. And we'll just finish this benchmark and we'll see what it's like with DLSS on the native screen at its native resolution. We'll test some 1080p in a sec. Okay, so I can confirm nine frames per second ultra settings at the native resolution of that 3K. And have a look at this, DLSS, 37 frames per second now up to 37 frames 28 there you know that's where there's a lot of lights and stuff but in here we're getting 30 over 30 so dlss on ultra performance yeah i can see it's not quite as sharp but on a small screen like this 
Really, DLSS, it is amazing. So you gotta be happy with DLSS. This now is playable. So yeah, so this is native resolution. Let's go to 1080p. Now, this is 1080p. You can see by the text size now. DLSS, if you ever wondered how magical DLSS is, have a look at this. 35 up to 40 frames per second. So only like maybe three to five frames per second more at 1080p ultra settings, yeah and this looks a lot worse than it did with the DLSS at the higher resolutions. But at the end of the day here, Full HD without DLSS, you're getting around, you know, 37 frames per second. And if it's really high dense scene here like this, you're getting 30 frames per second. But if you go back in there, near around the 40 there. So, you know, high 30s into the 40s. Let's put on DLSS. Okay, so now we have DLSS on and you can see there well over 60 frames per second ultra settings This is the ultra setting of the DLSS. So it is the highest performance setting Of course, it's not as sharp as one of you know if you have quality or whatever But this is you know well over 60 frames even in this dense area here and this is DLSS 1080p and inside here you're getting like 70 frames per second. And to be honest here, on such a small screen, I don't think I can tell the difference between the full resolution 1080p and without DLSS. It just looks a little bit softer. So now let's get into an external monitor and see what happens. All right, so now I'm playing on an external monitor and as you can see, there doesn't seem to be that much frames difference between this and when it was outputting just on the normal display there. So this is through the Thunderbolt, but it's pretty similar. And when I benchmarked, it was in margin of an error. So like one frame per second to the actual, you know, the screen display rather than being outputted externally there. So, all right, so now we're using DLSS and 1080p ultra settings, ultra settings for the um, ultra mode or whatever it is for the DLSS. So yeah, you can see pushing, you know, 70 frames per second, well over 60 frames per second. Not much difference between this and the internal monitor. I was expecting more of a performance boost, but this is through DisplayPort, even through Thunderbolt. There really wasn't that much difference. It was all margin of an error there. So there's not much to be gained using the external sort of, you know, GPU or DisplayPort or Thunderbolt. Now, this could be because it's going through Thunderbolt or Type-C. Maybe if it was a HDMI connection, maybe it would be a bit faster, but certainly there is virtually no difference between this uh, external display and using the internal display. Now, this monitor here is freaking amazing. It's got G-Sync as well. Can you believe it? It has G-Sync. Wow, I love this monitor. And yeah, one thing that I can say for sure is DLSS is the king. Like, this would be unplayable. As you saw, it was like 40 frames per second. And now, we can get over 60 frames per second with DLSS, so I'm happy with that. That's ultra 1080p, over 60 frames per second for Cyberpunk. What more can you ask for? And this display is amazing. I've got to say, the sound's actually good. I didn't think it'd be that bright. It's nice and responsive. Oh, playing on this compared to the internal display. For, you know, fast moving stuff, it is very nice. So yeah, anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Sally, ho.